Hello, this is Wounded Closer, and welcome back to another episode. So, sorry if I sound a little bit woozy, tired, whatever, wicked tired. I uh, just worked two 24 hour shifts. Um, well, almost 24 hour shifts because a buddy of mine was going on vacation, so I had to work the night shift twice for him as well as the normal as my normal day shift so I'm quite tired but I'm getting paid quite a bit more just a few bit more so uh, I did want to before I get to that I did want to address something yes there is an error uh, sound it's coming from a light that I'm using currently and you might hear it a lot because I use, I'm going to be using a lot more of these lights. They are a buck at the dollar store. It is phenomenal. It's quite bright, and it's actually brightening this whole area up quite a bit. Um, I can see it in the camera. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's brighter than it usually is. This is an unboxing video. Sorry for not specifying that, but yeah, this is my friend Dr. Walter Power. Oh my God, I can't speak. My friend Dr. Walter Powell sent me a package, but first I wanted to go over bricks and minifigs. So this is their website right here. It's called Bricks and Minifigs. It's in uh, Mansfield, uh, Massachusetts, I think. It's either Massachusetts or Rhode Island. One of the two. Don't know the place very well. Um. But it is a nice little brick store. It's kind of like Brick Links, but it it's a store. <laughs> They've got a ton of pieces. I spent probably about 50 bucks. And I got quite a bit. That will be in a haul video coming shortly. Um, but this is quite powerful stuff. I, I like the uh, this company because they buy old Lego sets and they have them built and whatnot um, and I'm actually hopefully gonna be going back there to buy a fleet of Y-Wings um, it's three built Y-Wing bombers for ninety dollars so as you know they are the newer Y-Wings that came out I think either last year or the year before um, and when they came out they were about sixty seventy dollars so three of them built, which lowers down the price just a bit, uh, with different minifigs in each, and different um, droids in each one. It's quite cool, um, and only for 90 bucks, it's quite a good deal. Um, so what I'm going to do is get straight into the package, as I was just talking. Quite a big package. I don't have my knives with me, um, currently they're all at a uh, at a friend's house because we were going hiking and I left my hiking stuff there and in my hiking bag are all my knives because I like to use knives when I hike so, so we also do a lot of bushcrafting um, Ooh la la. Ooh. This is quite nice. Oh. That was sided. I'm going to read that off camera. Yes. Okay, so the first thing we have is a air and space. Oh my god, I still cannot talk. Air and Space um, Magazine. With... This is the September 2019 version. We also have the Flight Journal. Uh, Pearl Harbor 75th Anniversary Issue. Uh, aviation, the Aviation Adventure Dash Past, Present and Future. Until Tales of Pearl Harbor, we have the Curtis P-40C Warhawk here, and we have the Curtis P-36A Mohawk as well. 
Um, and this is the. Ooh, this is an older one. Display until November 29th, 2016. Um, and this one has a Hawker C Fury T Mark 20. Uh, next we have this whole thing's upside down. Uh, we've got another flight journal. Uh, the Nocturnal Killers. Tiger Cats over Korea. Um, Forgotten Trooper re restored. Uh, Douglas A-20 Havoc. Um, Combat Trifka display until October 22nd of 2019. So this is uh, quite new. Pilots uh, who have shot down airplanes from all three Axis powers. Um, so this is pretty cool. Let's flip this over. Oh, this is... Okay, so this is... Oh, You heard about this one too. Okay, so... Let's quickly go into the Collins Foundation. Collins Foundation, uh, if you guys haven't seen the news, their plane, uh, one of the Boeing 17 World War II bombers actually crashed. Uh, very dreadful. 13 uh, people were in there. Several people died, I believe. Only a few survived. Um, peace goes out to all those families. Um, sorrow and everything like that. But there is a Collins Foundation um, at their place in... Um, it's the Battle for the Airfield. It's a World War II living history event from October 12th and 3rd uh, and 13th, uh, this uh, 2019. So this will actually be next weekend. Um, this is going to get posted like a long, much further because I'm still trying to get um, a piece. I have to special order it, but it, it isn't in the United States, so I have to wait for it to come into the United States Customs, everything like that probably won't be able to upload this for another couple months at least but this is a pretty cool event I'm gonna be there it's really cool and I this letter is gonna explain some of what this is happening so he's got a couple magazine type things here so October 4th Ligonier days Friday and Sunday October 11th through 13th 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. He said, I'll be there. It's a dramatic battle reenactment and an artillery demonstration Saturday and Sunday, while, which commemorates the 1758 Battle of Fort Legionnaire, engaged with more than 150 British, French, and Native American troops encamped throughout the fort. Come early, uh, gate to fort closes 10 minutes prior to reenactment for guests' safety. Friendly Fire Incident, Holiday Open House, Twelfth Night Celebration. Ooh. So this is a nice little thing here. Things like that. Um, another battle. So this says 11th through 13th, so it's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll have to read his letter to see. Um, and actually, so you can see he actually wrote this is him and his friend. So this right here is Walter on this magazine. And this is the Siege Day. Become a member. So this is. This is for the people for becoming a member. Oh, this is quite nice. So, um, join us today. Membership levels. Uh, individual membership. Uh, one adult is $35. Um, you can actually get a, uh, quite a bit. Hold on. So, let's see here. So, individual membership, one adult, or dual membership, two adults. Uh, two adults, $50. One adult, $35. Members get free unlimited visits to Fort... L I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to say 
Ligonier, or including for including its days for one or two adults. A 10% discount on the museum store and discounted tickets for special events and educational programs. The family membership, $65 family members, get free unlimited visits to this fort, including the day, fort days, which is enclosed right here. These are all the days, yada, yada, yada. All 2020 and 2019. Do I have a paper cut? Did I really give myself a paper cut opening this shit? Kind of pissed about that. Um, for up to two adults and their children under the age of 21, a 10% discount in the museum store and discounted tickets for special events and educational programs. Grandparent membership um, includes free unlimited visits to this fort, including the fort days. For up to two grandparents and their grandchildren under the age of 21 with a 10% discount in the museum store. Uh, tickets for a special educational program such as kids camp perfect for grandparents with visiting grandchildren during the summer months uh, Fortifying membership Fortifying members get free and limited visits to the fort. This is five hundred dollars by the way Grandparent membership is sixty four uh, five dollars. So for five hundred dollars fortifying members get free and limited visits to the fort Including the days for up to two adults and their children under the age of 21 plus four additional admission tickets to share with family and friends this level also offers a 25% discount in the museum store and discounted tickets for special events and educational programs. And then there's the 1758 membership, which is $1,758. And that's kind of not cool. Uh, and it's our highest ranking members get free unlimited visits to the fort, uh, including fort days, for the two fortifying members, their children and or grandchildren, under the age of 21 plus 10 additional admission tickets to share with family and friends. This level also includes free admission to select events, a 25% discount in the museum store, and discounted tickets for special events and educational purposes. This is really cool. Then we have George Washington, leader in the French and Indian War. We've got this little battle scene. We've got enlist with a young George Washington, see the Pennsylvania frontier. Follow the trails of the French and Indian War throughout western Pennsylvania. Washington's Trail, 1753, Pennsylvania. Then we actually have a bunch more magazines. World War II Battlefield as Crime Scene, Manila, 1945. Um, December of 2018. World War II, D-Day, 75th anniversary. Omaha Allied troops had only one chance to make a flawed plan work. Page 38. Uh, this is the June 2019 version. Uh, Naval history. Punch out over Laos. Laos. Okay. And this is February of 2009. Oh. That's quite nice. 2009. Naval History, this is February of 2008, America's Evolving Submarines, then Naval History, October of 2008, Fighting for Survival, and Halsey's Typhoon, then there's the Sea History, which is Spring of 2008, and it's um, the Art, Literature, Adventure, Lore, and Learning of the Sea, Naval History of October 2007, Innovative Enormous Midway Carriers. And then we have Naval History, April of 2015, Marines in Vietnam. Navy Ops on the Rhine River, Complains of, or er, cha Chaplains, sorry, of Valor, Kiwi's Sub-Sinking Exploit. Quite nice, quite nice. So, uh, let's get to his letter. Well, I'm going to read the letter off camera, like I said. I'm going to take a drink of water. My mouth is very dry, and also, apparently I spilled something on myself. Whoops. Um, I have taken apart a mock. Um, it's the mock with the British versus Germans on the, or with the above ground like weird trench type thing I was doing. I don't even know what I was doing if I'm being completely honest, 
Right now I'm trying to build another mock. I was just kind of testing around. This is what I have so far. Just me kind of testing around, screwing around. Like cover all of this with green. We've got gray for like a bunker or something. I don't know, bunker floor. And then I have pieces like this facing inward uh, where you can like have multiple pieces and just kind of connect them along. Maybe so it looks like an actual trench. I don't know. I was going to do that. I mean, I'm just kind of experimenting, seeing what I can do. Hence the reason there's no video on it. Um, and if you see back here, you can kind of see this. You can kind of see a box back here. And yes, I did get the Harry Potter Hogwarts Great Hall. And I am going to be getting, very shortly, um, the... Uh, actually, I believe it's all of the other sets I'll be getting shortly. I'm actually going to be buying one off of eBay from England, and it's the Expecto Patronum set. And uh, that's because it's only in England. I don't believe it's come to the U.S. quite yet. It's coming around December. I don't feel like waiting until December, though. So, I decided not to. I'm going to be buying it from England. It's only like 30 US dollars, so I figured it's going to be probably more than that once it hits the actual things, so why not? I'll have it for now. Um, got my little tank here. Got in the back. Sorry, I was just like playing around with this. And then, um, there may be some videos, um, in me talk, uh, in with like 1911 Colt police training pistol is actually called the 1920 police training pistol just because it's quite different from the 1911 um, or the 2011 that's what it's called the 2011 Colt not the 1920 uh, Colt it's called the 2011 Colt um, and it's a police training uh, pistol for airsoft pretty much um, you may also see some uh, RC type things on this because uh, there is quite a lot of RC cars. It's um, very fun. I'm currently me and uh, a friend of mine. I wouldn't say me and a friend of mine. Um, me and uh, two buddies of mine are going to drive RC cars. And it's going to be fun. Because we've got uh, RC... Panzer tank that actually shoots uh, airsoft pellets out of the turret of a gun, the physical uh, tank part, which is really cool because uh, the buddy of mine's up, I'm not going to say upfitted, but um, repurposed an old shell of it. He's put in uh, new motors, uh, painted it. It's just looks amazing. Looks real and amazing really fun. Uh, there's also going to be some Airsoft Thompson and Airsoft Car, uh, Car 98 in the near future because it was, it was fucking awesome last time when we were doing it, so we're going to do it again. Um, my other channel is still running, the uh, Quality Peep channel, so feel free to go and check that one out. Uh, it's got more of the gaming if you guys aren't into it, uh, into that type of gaming stuff. I'm sorry, but I do have gaming type stuff on there. There's not much I can really do if you don't like it. But, I hope you do, because it, I have a great time. We play with some guys, we have some fun, and we go and fuck shit up. We really do. It's amazing what we do. We can... We'll fight a lot of people. There's actually a lot of fighting going on. Uh, some God Mode videos, that's certainly one of the things. But it is uh, still very fun. Um, PvP streams. And uh, usually last about an hour. Hour or more. And I guess... Uh, I guess that's it. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all later.
Peace.